In this video, we'll explore the rarest black people in the world, showcasing their unique and extraordinary features. First on our list is Kadia Diop. Kadia Diop is a Senegalese model that advocates for fashion industry diversity. She was born on December 31st, 1996 in Dakar, Senegal. Diop is widely known for her stunning dark complexion and striking beauty, which has earned her the nickname Melanin Goddess among her fans. Growing up in Senegal, Diop was surrounded by a culture where more than 25% of dark-skinned girls bleached their skin. Although she was never tempted to try skin bleaching, she did feel the desire to have lighter skin at times. The constant bullying and negative attention she received because of her unique dark skin often made her feel ashamed and isolated. However, she had a shift in mindset when her older sister showed her pictures of Alec Weck, a famous model with a similar skin tone. This helped her to feel better about herself and inspired her to pursue modeling. Inspired to dream bigger, she used her unique features to carve out a successful modeling career. In 2016, she gained international attention after photos of her went viral on social media, and she quickly became an overnight sensation. Since then, Diop has worked with numerous high-profile brands, including Fenty Beauty, Sephora, and Makeup Forever. She has also graced the pages of several international magazines, such as Vogue and Elle, and has walked the runway for designers like Christian Louboutin. Apart from modeling, Diop is also a vocal advocate for diversity in the fashion industry. She has a platform that she has used to raise awareness about colorism and to encourage more inclusivity in the industry. In 2018, she launched her own beauty line called Kadu Cosmetics, which aims to provide makeup products for women of all skin tones. Diop's rise to fame has inspired many people worldwide, particularly those who have faced discrimination or bullying because of their appearance. She is a true role model and a testament to the fact that diversity should be celebrated, not shunned. Although living about 5,100 miles away, Kadia's inspiring story is similar to that of Nakia Phoenix, which is next on the list. Nakia Phoenix is an American model, actress, and activist who is known for her unique look and inspiring story. Born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, Phoenix began her career as a model in 2011 when a talent scout discovered her at a music festival. Despite rejection from several modeling agencies due to her distinctive look, Phoenix persevered and eventually landed her first modeling job with the clothing brand Urban Outfitters. Since then, Phoenix has worked with various high-profile brands, including Nike, Coca-Cola, and Target. She has also appeared in numerous magazines, such as Elle, Glamour, and Marie Claire, and has walked the runway for several prominent fashion designers. In addition to her successful modeling career, Phoenix is also an advocate for diversity and representation in the fashion industry. She co-founded the modeling agency Black Girl Beautiful, which promotes inclusivity and empowering models of color. Phoenix has also spoken out against harmful beauty standards and has been vocal about her own struggles with self-esteem and body image. Aside from her work in the fashion industry, Phoenix has also pursued acting and has appeared in several films and TV shows. She is also a writer and has contributed to several online publications, including The Huffington Post and Refinery29. Overall, Nakia Phoenix is an inspiring figure who has overcome obstacles to succeed in the competitive modeling world. Her commitment to promoting inclusivity and self-love has made her a role model for many, and her advocacy work has helped to create a more diverse and inclusive fashion industry. As fascinating as Nakia's skin appearance is, that of Winnie Harlow is even more engrossing. But one thing they have in common is their passion for the fashion industry and their advocacy for diversity and inclusivity. Chantel Brown Young, now known as Winnie Harlow, was born in the Greater Toronto Area on July 27, 1994, to Lisa Brown and Windsor Young. She has two sisters and is of Jamaican descent. Winnie was diagnosed with vitiligo at the age of four, a skin condition characterized by a loss of pigmentation and patches on the skin. Growing up, she was bullied for her appearance and often felt isolated. However, Winnie embraced her unique features and learned to love herself, eventually leading her to pursue a career in modeling. In 2014, Harlow was selected as one of the 14 finalists in the 21st cycle of America's Next Top Model after being discovered by Tyra Banks on Instagram. She was the only Canadian to ever participate in the show. However, she was eliminated in the second week of the finals. Despite this setback, she competed in the Comeback series, where she joined other eliminated contestants in the cycle's photo shoots in hopes of returning to the competition. Harlow performed well in this series and received the highest average public vote score allowing her to return to the competition. Although she didn't win the competition, her striking appearance and confidence caught the public's attention in the fashion industry. 
Since then, she has appeared on several runways, including those of Marc Jacobs, DeSegwell, and Tommy Hilfiger, and has graced the covers of different magazines, such as Glamour, Elle, and Vogue. Besides modeling, Winnie Harlow also advocates for diversity and inclusivity in the fashion industry. She has spoken out against colorism and discrimination, and has used her platform to promote body positivity and self-love. She has also collaborated with brands such as DeSegwell and Swarovski to launch collections celebrating diversity and empowering women. Winnie Harlow is not only a successful model, but also an inspiration to many people around the world who struggle with self-confidence and self-acceptance. She continues using her voice and influence to break down barriers and promote inclusivity in the fashion industry. The next interesting person we'll be talking about is Slick Woods. Slick Woods is an American fashion model and actress known for her striking appearance and fearless attitude. Born in Minneapolis, Minnesota in 1996, Woods grew up in challenging circumstances and spent time in and out of foster care. She eventually moved to Los Angeles, where she was discovered by a modeling agency while hanging out with friends. Woods quickly rose to fame in the fashion industry, known for her signature bald head, gap-toothed smile, and edgy, androgynous look. She has walked the runway for prominent designers, such as Fenty by Rihanna, Marc Jacobs, and Yeezy, and has appeared in campaigns for brands like Calvin Klein and Moschino. Woods is also known for her activism and outspokenness on various issues, including race, gender, and sexuality. She has been a vocal advocate for LGBTQ rights and has spoken openly about her own experiences as a queer woman of color. In addition to her work in the fashion industry, Woods has also pursued acting and has appeared in several films and TV shows. She played a small role in the 2017 movie Love Beats Rhymes and had a reoccurring role in the TV series Tales. Woods has faced her fair share of challenges and adversity through her life and career. In 2019, she revealed that she had been diagnosed with stage 3 melanoma cancer, but she continued to work and model throughout her treatment. She has also been open about her struggles with addiction and mental health and has used her platform to raise awareness and reduce the stigma around these issues. Overall, Slick Woods is a trailblazer in the fashion industry and a fearless advocate for social justice. Her unique look and unapologetic attitude have made her a role model for many, and her commitment to using her platform for good has helped to create a more inclusive and accepting world for queer people. Next on our list is the amazing Nigerian child model, Jare Ejalana. Jare Ejalana is the first Nigerian child model who gained international attention and recognition for her striking beauty at a very young age. She was born in 2012 and was first photographed by her mother, a professional photographer named Mof Ajalana at four. The stunning portraits of Jare, along with her two older sisters, Jomi and Joba, quickly went viral on social media and attracted the attention of major fashion brands and publications around the world. In particular, Jari's natural beauty and distinctive features drew comparisons to iconic supermodels like Naomi Campbell and Iman. Around June 2018, at five years old, Jari Jalana became the first black and African girl to be named the most beautiful girl in the world, a title previously held by French child model Tilaine Blondo and later Russian child models Kristina Pimenova and Anastasia Nyeziva. Since her rise to fame, Jari has been featured in numerous fashion campaigns and magazine editorials, including appearances in El South Africa, Grazia Italy, and Harper's Bazaar US. She has also been signed by major modeling agencies like Kids Revolution and Brave Models. Despite her early success, Jari's parents have emphasized balancing her modeling career with her education and personal growth. They have also spoken out against the exploitation and sexualization of child models, calling for greater protection and support for young people in the industry. Because of her striking eyes, skin tone, and beauty, Jari was nicknamed the African Barbie at some point. Jari's rise to fame has sparked important conversations about beauty standards, representation, and the treatment of child models in the fashion industry. She has become a symbol of natural beauty and a source of inspiration for young girls worldwide. Up next is Makai Lucky, the first black man and music artist on the list. Makai Lucky is an American male model who gained attention in the fashion industry for his fascinating features and unique look. He was born on April 24th, 2002 in Huntsville, Alabama, and was raised in a military farm, frequently moving throughout his childhood. Lucky was first discovered on Instagram by a modeling scout in 2018, who was immediately drawn to his striking facial features and piercing green eyes. Despite having no prior modeling experience, Lucky was signed to IMG Models, one of the most prestigious modeling agencies in the world. Since then, Lucky has quickly become a rising star in the fashion industry, walking for major designers at New York Fashion Week and appearing in campaigns for brands like Calvin Klein and Fendi. He has also been featured in major editorials, 
such as Vogue Italia and ID Magazine for publications. Lucky's unique look and personal style have made him a favorite among fashion insiders, and he has been praised for breaking down traditional gender norms in his modeling work. He has also been vocal about his experiences as a black male model, speaking out against racism and discrimination in the fashion industry. In addition to his modeling work, Lucky is a talented musician and has released his own music under the name Makai. He has said that his music is a way to express himself and share his experiences with the world. Lucky's rise to fame has been a testament to his hard work and dedication and his willingness to challenge traditional beauty standards and embrace his unique identity. He has become a role model for young people worldwide, inspiring them to embrace their individuality and pursue their passions with confidence and determination. Moving back to Africa takes us to the next on the list, Ducky Thought, the Australian South Sudanese model. Ducky Thought is an Australian Sudanese model and actress known for her striking beauty and advocacy for diversity and inclusion in the fashion industry. She was born in Melbourne, Australia in 1995 and is of South Sudanese heritage. Thought first rose to prominence as a contestant on the eighth cycle of Australia's Next Top Model in 2013, where she placed third. She then went on to sign with a New York-based modeling agency, the Society Management, and has since worked with major fashion brands such as Fenty Beauty, Balmain, and L'Oreal. Thought is also known for her advocacy for greater diversity and inclusivity in the fashion industry. She has spoken openly about her experiences with discrimination and racism and has used her platform to raise awareness and encourage change. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar, Thought says she hopes to continue to push the boundaries and encourage people to think outside the box and embrace different cultures and beauty standards. In addition to her modeling work, Thought has pursued acting. She made her acting debut in the Australian TV series The Commons in 2019 and has since appeared in the Amazon Prime video series Making the Cut in the Netflix movie Fatal Affair. Thought's impact on the fashion industry has been significant and she has been praised for her efforts to promote greater diversity and representation. In 2018, she was named the face of L'Oreal Paris, becoming the brand's first ever Australian Sudanese ambassador. Next on our list is the blue-eyed Nigerian named Risa but this time, a woman who also gave birth to blue-eyed children. Rizikot Aziz is an Illyrin-based Nigerian woman who gained widespread attention on social media in 2020 for her striking appearance and inspiring story of resilience. Born with a condition called heterochromia, Rizikot has one blue eye and one brown eye making her a rare and unique beauty. Rizikot's life has been marked by both triumphs and challenges. Growing up in Kwara State, Nigeria, she faced discrimination and ridicule from some members of her community because of her unusual eye color. Despite this, she found love with her husband, Abdulwazio Omodada, and they married in 2014. The couple has two daughters together, in 2020, Rizikot's story went viral after she shared her experiences of discrimination and bullying on social media. She described how her husband had been pressured to abandon her because of her strange eye color and how she had been subjected to taunts and insults from strangers. Her story struck a chord with people around the world who were moved by her courage and determination in the face of adversity. Since her story went viral, Rizikot has become a symbol of resilience and beauty in the face of discrimination. Media outlets around the world have covered her inspiring story and she has been featured in numerous interviews and profiles. In an interview with CNN, she spoke about the importance of self-love and acceptance, saying, I'm happy the way I am. I'm grateful for the way God created me. Riscott's story is a powerful reminder of the importance of celebrating diversity and embracing differences. Her courage and strength in the face of adversity have inspired countless people to stand up for themselves and others facing discrimination or prejudice. Her unique beauty is a reminder that every person has value and worth, regardless of appearance or background. And last, but in no way the least, is the second male on the list, a Haitian-American entrepreneur named Ralph Sofrent. Ralph Sofrent isn't just an entrepreneur, but also a speaker and coach, known for his work in empowering individuals and organizations to achieve their full potential. He founded Ralph Sofrent Coaching and Consulting, a company dedicated to helping individuals and organizations overcome challenges and achieve their goals. Ralph Sofrent has proven that he is not just a model to watch anymore. As evidenced by his successful campaigns and growing client base, the Brooklyn-based Haitian model is known for his striking freckled face and his determination to advocate for inclusivity in the fashion industry. Sofrent's modeling career took off after he was handpicked by Kanye West's team to debut at Yeezy Season 3, and he has continued to break boundaries ever since. Notably, he became the first male model for Beyonce's Ivy Park collection, posing alongside Laverne Cox, and has also starred in campaigns for Tommy Hilfiger, among others. Sofrent is committed to redefining beauty standards and has collaborated with other diversity advocates, including Petra Collins, Nicola Formichetti, and Stephen Klein. Sofrent also values physical fitness as a means of expressing his individuality, but he recognizes that body shaming can be harmful. 
he encourages people to be more compassionate and supportive of each other, especially in the world where there is so much suffering. Sofren has personally witnessed people in need and has taken action to help them. But he wishes that more people would do the same. Despite the pressures of representing major brands like Beyonce, Sofrit remains grounded and focused on self-acceptance and positivity. He is deeply committed to giving back to his community and empowering others to do the same. He is also actively involved in several non-profit organizations, including the Haitian Roundtable and the New York Urban League. He serves as a mentor to young people in his community. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel to support the movement. We aren't just telling stories. We're changing lives and waking the culture up. The video on the screen is another interesting story that I'm sure you'll love to hear. Click on it now. We'll see you over there.